Here comes a fish. Here comes a fish. Here he comes. I'm seeing him on the live scope right now. I'm watching him on the live scope. Here he comes. He's on it. He's on it. Yep, yep. Got him. Big brookie. I just watched this guy on the live scope eat. I saw him come in on live scope there. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. Welcome back to another Minnesota ice fishing video. We're back in southern Minnesota. We're chasing after some big, big brook trout today. What I heard is this lake just got stocked with 20 to 30 inch brook trout in the last week, which means these trout are gonna be hungry and they're gonna be aggressive. I'm set up here. We're gonna be sight fishing for them today. I'm set up on a drop off going from three feet down to about 25 feet, super, super quick. I'm set up in five feet. I wanna be shallow because I wanna be able to see these fish. So I'm set up super, super shallow today. We're gonna be jigging some spoons. We're gonna be jigging some wax worms. And I'm telling you by the end of the video, I know this lake well enough to know we're gonna have caught at least 20 to 30 rainbow trout with maybe hopes are three to five brooks. And these brooks are absolutely massive. It's gonna be a blast. Hope you guys enjoy. As always, stay tuned for some tips and tricks throughout the video. New ice fishing videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11. Let's sight fish for some trout, guys. All right, first things first, I need to drill myself a nice sight fishing hole here. So I already did four from yesterday's video. So I'm just gonna add a few more here. Alrighty, we are good to go. All right, let's get all ready to go here. All right, guys, let's get dropped down. Let's see if we can see anything real quick. Oh, look at that guy. Oh my gosh, he ate too. He ate the spoon and dropped it. Oh no, another one. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, he ate this. Look at him. Look at him. He's still here, he's still here. Got him, got him, got him. Got him, there we go. First brookie of the day. Not a Mondo, but we got him to eat the spoon. That is so sick. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. This is so, oh my gosh. Oh man, look at that guy. This is not the monster down there by any means. There is a lot bigger ones. But this is a good start. I mean, this is, oh man, what an insane, insane fish. Oh, this fish is so sick. We're gonna get her right back in the water, guys. She's not a monster by any means. All right, I'm gonna get a release on this guy and I'm gonna get it on my phone as well so you guys can get a little bit better view here. <sighs> that was insane. To see that guy eat the spoon, I think spoon's the way to go. Smacked the spoon, absolutely loved it. Oh my gosh, this is, this is awesome. We're gonna keep going, guys. If you like the spoon, the spoon we're using today, guys, is, I'll show it off in one sec here. The spoon of choice for today is the Acme Rattlemaster. The color is Glow Bloody Bug. It's a 1 8 ounce spoon. I got them linked down below. If you guys are looking for a good trout spoon, it's one of my favorites. That, that is for sure. We're going to keep jigging and we're going to wait for the next one to come in. I'm glad he ate a plain spoon. That shows a lot about how aggressive these fish are. Even though they are uh, stockies and even though this place gets hit pretty hard, they still like the plain spoon and that is awesome. Let's keep jigging. At least if I drop my camera, or my phone, I can at least find it, you know? It won't be that hard to find it if it's five feet deep. That being said, I'm probably, hopefully, not going to. I do gotta be really quiet, though. I'm not trying to spook these fish today. Honestly, gotta be on my best behavior. It's starting to get a little cold again in here. I wanna turn on this heater without falling down the hole. That would be my main goal. Don't fall down the hole. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, he just ate. I'm literally above this fish right now, he just ate. He knew I was trying to do something and he tried to eat. You see that little tap he gave that spoon? He might be gone. He gave it a tiny little tap. Didn't fully commit, just a little flick. Can I, can I grab this heater now? <sighs> They're coming through like crazy and that is all that matters to me. We're gonna miss a few today, that's for sure. They're just giving it these little taps. The thing I'm trying to do is, I don't usually do this with normal fish. I'm setting the hook right away. As soon as I see it in their mouth, I'm setting the hook. Usually I give it a few seconds to make sure they kind of chomp it. But with these fish, they're so aggressive but finicky at the same time. As soon as they open their mouth, they feel that spoon spit right away. As soon as they feel that spit, every single time, they'll feel it and spit it. You know, maybe you'll get that lucky chance where they try to spit it and that just pushes it harder in their mouth. 
but the majority of time they're gonna feel that spoon they're gonna go feel it spit it out right away so I'm looking for as soon as they put that oh something just swam through give me a second guys as soon as they put it in their mouth I see that in their mouth that they ate it I'm gonna set the hook I don't want to waste any time because these fish just if they feel the spoon they're gonna spit especially these bigger brooks I'll give them a second what I'd like to do is I like to let them eat the spoon but they're not gonna they're just gonna feel that hard metal right there and they're gonna spit it they're not gonna fully chomp it like I'd like which is all right I mean they're stocked brookies you can't expect too much out of these guys but yeah so if you're fishing for a for a trout like this especially finicky ones even if they seem aggressive they feel anything they don't like spit so I gave it a quick hook set as soon as I see it in their mouth I set the hook that's why the majority of these fish aren't going to be the best hookups. Hookup ratio is not going to be that good. All I need is one hook in them. But you don't want a pre-mature hook set. You don't want to set the hook into their face, all right? If they eat it, you can set the hook. All right, you see them eat, you see it go in their mouth, set the hook right away. But if you see it just by their face or it's under them, don't set the hook into the fish's mouth, all right? So many people I've seen do that. And yeah, it may be trying to eat it, but it didn't eat it yet. So, even if you think it's going to eat, make sure it actually eats. Don't just set the hook into the fish's mouth, because that's technically foul hooking. Okay, what do I want to try next? I could try a crappie minnow. That wouldn't be such a bad idea. Oh, look at this guy. Got him. I was just talking about switching baits, and this guy came out and ate. Okay, 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 okay. Let out a little line. Calm, calm down, calm down. S stay in the water there. Stay in the water there. All right. I want to give these guys the best amount of care I can. So flapping around on the ice is not what I'm looking for. All right, buddy. Come on. I'm going to let this guy kind of chill out here. See? That wasn't that hard, was it? No. All right. I'm going to put this back right here. Here she is, guys. Nice little guy here. Beautiful little fish. She's going to go right back in the water. Oh, oh, no, no. Look at that guy right there. I might have just spooked him. Do you guys just see that, that brookie right under us? Oh, man. He was right there. Me releasing that, uh, that fish definitely just spooked him. Wow. It's good to see some more brooks coming through. I really like that. Yeah, I definitely just spooked that fish. Just got smacked there. They always like to bite when I'm the least expecting it. Not too bad of a little bow here. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Calm her down. Calm her down. I got you. I got you. I got you. Started scrolling on my phone for a little bit. We hadn't seen anything in about an hour, and this guy took that opportunity to eat. I was just dead sticking the the waxies there, and he ate it. Here she is, guys. Another beautiful. Beautiful bow. This one's, uh, this one's a little nicer than some of the other ones are. She's going to go right back in the water. And there she goes. All right, let's get you back down here. Wow, that was cool. Yeah, I was uh, just dead sticking this bait. Didn't really move it at all. I moved it for, oh man, probably about 45 minutes. And I didn't see anything. Nothing came through, but dead sticked it for 10 minutes. Scrolled my phone and, and the fish just, they just know when I'm not paying attention. All right, let's make sure we're all good here. We're going to drop this. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. You guys see that guy right under us? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Another one. Back to back. <laughs> back to back. We literally just caught a fish not even a minute ago, and I dropped my bait down, and she came out and absolutely chomped it. All right, well, that did not take long to get another fish. This is good. There's a lot of bows coming through. I like that. About the same size as that last one, guys. Absolute beauties. She's going right back in the water there. What are you doing? No, what are you, what are you doing? What is he? You guys can't even see him. He's, he's up on the ice again. Get, get back. Come on, what are you doing? I'm worried to, like, fully stretch over this hole here. Okay, no, no, you're, what are you doing? No, no, that you're, what are you, what are you doing? This fish is crazy. There he goes. There he goes. He just went all the way up on the ice. Oh, buddy, what are you doing? All right, I gotta fix some of this ice here so you guys can see better. All right, Waxy is going right back down. And there we go. Let's wait for another one. Look at this guy right here. He's right under me. Look at him, look at him. Another one. 
it wasn't even a minute ago I just dropped down. Like there's no timestamp on this stuff, but not even a minute ago I dropped down. Just put it in the water and out comes another one. I don't like pulling them out of the water like that. It's not good for them. Right in the lip there. That is three fish in not even five minutes. This guy just came out so quickly. I mean, I literally just dropped it in the water and this guy came out and smacked it. A little smaller than those other ones, but that's all right. She's back in the water safe and sound. That did not take very long. That fish just came, there must be just so many right here. That fish came out and smacked it right away. I mean, as soon as I put my bait back in the water, he ate. I'm hoping to see some more brookies here. That's been a lot of rainbows now. You know, <clears throat> a kid asked me where I was this morning. I posted a, a, a video of my, my brook trout. Someone swipes up and he asks, what lake are you on? I told him the lake. I'm being a nice guy, trying to help a fellow kid fish. And then he goes, what part of the lake? And I said, you know what, all right, I'm on the right side of the lake, top right side. He's like, okay, okay. What depth are you in? I'm like, you can just go around, figure it out. I mean, you saw the video, you saw I'm pretty shallow. He's like, well, can you tell me the exact depth? I'm like, I've fished 500 different spots to find spots like this. I'm sure you can find your own depth on a lake I just told you. He's like, okay, okay, what are you using? I'm like, a little bit of that, a little bit of, little bit of this, a little bit of that. I mean, I'm, I'm using spoons right now. He's like, what color? I'm like, I'm trying different colors. He's like, you want to tell me the exact color? I'm like, not particularly. Like, I mean, try different things. Watch one of my videos. I go over the exact color of my bait in every single video. I'm trying to help people catch fish. I love helping people get on fish, even in spots that are really good. But you got to at least try. Try your own things here. I got no, nothing wrong with giving people spots, helping them out, helping them catch fish. Never, I'll never gatekeep a spot. Even no matter how good, is it, how good it is, I'll never gatekeep it. I'm here to help people catch fish. That's my main goal is to help people catch fish. But it's that, it's that fact that people just want things easy these days. They just, they just want to know where they're going to catch it. They don't want to go and explore it. My whole life, since I was just a little kid, I've spent every winter trying to find new spots. I mean, I'll go out and I'll fish spots that no one's ever heard of in the middle of Whoville that probably don't even have fish. There's probably been 50 spots I've fished in the last few years that didn't even have fish at all. But I tried them. And then you end up with spots like this that are pretty good, even though this is kind of a community hole. There's a lot of people out here. You got to know where on the lake to fish. And, you know, I've spent six years finding spots. People just want, they want the easy way out of life. They don't want to go find their own spots. They don't want to go do all this. They don't want to put in the work. They just want to set up right on top where they know there's going to be fish. But I also don't like burning through spots. That's another thing. If it's like a pretty secretive spot that like I know a lot of people like don't know about and it's really good and there's a lot of people on the lake that uh that wouldn't want you know a whole 50 people coming out I won't, I won't put it on YouTube but if I got a close buddy who wants to know a spot I'll let him know the name tell him not to bring his friends it all depends if I found the spot myself and there's not a lot of people who fish it I'll give out some of the spots but I hate burning spots look at this guy right there I don't want spots to get burned the problem because there's so many people who find the same spot as I did who put in just as much work as I did to find the spot and if I went around telling everybody where it's at that's not fair to them I'll give people the more well-known spots so think about if you guys found a really insane spot that not a lot of people know about that's stacked with fish you put in the work to find it went through different lakes look at this guy if some kid like me went around and told everybody where the fish are at you don't want to burn spots it's not gatekeeping it it's just trying to keep it a little bit low-key. It'd be unfair if, you know, everybody knew all the good spots. I'm sure you guys got an insane lake that is stacked to the brim with fish that not that many people know about. Think about if somebody went out and just told everybody that there's big fish there. Your spot's burned. I wouldn't be too happy. But spots like this, the community hole. Ooh, I shouldn't have talked. That was a brook that just came through. I gotta be a little bit quieter. After I finish this, I'll uh, try to keep it, on the, keep it on the quiet here. We got a few, few brooks coming through. Yeah, a spot like this that everyone knows about, I got no problem telling people where the fish are at. They're gonna find it out anyway. It's a small, it's a small little pond. Everybody knows it. There's, there's people out here everywhere. Every single part of this lake is filled with people. So, I got no problem telling people. Nothing wrong with this. It. It's a community hole, but difference between gatekeeping and burning spots. All right, you know what? I've been using the spoon for a hot minute. I do like to switch things up. Haven't pulled any fish in a little bit. Let's throw down a little bit of a different spoon. 
plain silver spoon here. She's getting dropped down. We're gonna give this one a try here. It's got a little bit more shine to it. So I'm curious to see how much difference this makes. It should be good. I mean, it's, it's got a really good shine to it. I really like it. And it's got a great action. It's a little bit bigger too. So this could be the ticket right here. Give it that little twitch. I like to kind of get it to spin itself like that. This guy sees it. Oh, it came in, didn't eat it. Giving it like a little little slap right there. Giving it a little, little smack. Just like that, that little twitch. That's what I love to do with my spoons. I give it like, and it hits him, it gets like this. It like spins the spoon really fast. It does a full 360 really, really fast. Gives it a quick, super, super quick little spin. It's all I need to get these fish to come in. Just one of these. Hard little twitch right there. Full 360 spin. The fish love it. All right, so there's another thing I do that's a little, uh, a little bit more in the like weird side, but I've caught a lot of massive fish doing it, and I brought in a lot of fish. Okay, so it's gonna look really dumb, but you guys have to trust me. In this, like, this is a, this is serious. Take your rod with your spoon, shake it. Literally, just, just look at brought in a fish right there. Look at that guy. Oh, they came in. They saw that. Didn't eat it, but look at that. As soon as we did it, we brought in some fish. It looks dumb. I'm telling you right now, it's going to look dumb. You're going to look dumb doing it. But that just... Like that right there. You see how much shine that gives off? So much. I mean, it, it sounds dumb. It looks dumb. But it's it seriously works. you got to be able to do it where you're not hitting the water super hard. That's the hardest thing. I'm still trying to figure out. I'm not trying to like... I'm trying to bounce it without hitting that water too hard. Kind of like this. But... For deeper water, it's not a problem, but if they hear that water twitch, they might not like it as much. But no, just like this. It's a crazy action, and it seriously works really, really well. Like, I started doing that this year. Actually, late, late last ice season, and if I really want to bring in some fish, it's a lot of work because it kind of hurts your arm when you're doing this. But I've had it where I haven't caught a fish in a few hours. I start hitting it with the, that little hard jiggle right there. That, it, it just gives off so much shine. I mean, seriously, it gives off so, so much shine. It's just, it's not moving back and forth. It's just moving in the same spot. You can also just do it like this, where you just kind of bounce it. But as you see, like when I'm bouncing it like this, it doesn't give off that much shine. You're not seeing that glare, but watch when I do this. You see how you can see that a lot better? Even on the camera, you can see it so much better. You gotta like hit that hard twitch. You gotta figure it out. Try it a couple different times. But if you can get that thing shaking back and forth like that, the spoon's going like this. It's not going like this, it's going like this works so well compared to your normal up and down action like this it gives off shine you can see it and stuff but once you once you do that i mean it's it, it works really really well i'm not the biggest fan of doing it in shallow water just because you, you can hear it you can hear that you can see the little 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 ripples it gives off right there sometimes that will spook the fish but that little twitch like that boom you'll have fish coming in left and right it's weird it sounds dumb it looks dumb but it works. It, it really works. Oh, we brought in a fish right there. See him under us? He likes it. He likes it. He likes that hard twitch. I'm telling you, guys, spooked him. I gotta stop talking. These guys are getting finicky. These guys are getting more finicky and more finicky every minute. I can't be talking. They're either seeing me or they're hearing me talk and they're getting spooked. It has been super, super quick. I mean, insanely quick. That's three fish in five minutes. Let's see how long it takes to get number. But we're I'm waiting to see the big brook. That's what I care about. Oh, look at this guy. I'm waiting for that big brook to come through here. A lot of rainbows coming through. It's about that time, too. It's like, oh, it's got to be close to 12. It's 12.02. Yeah. A lot of these bows are pushing shallow right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see some here really, really quick. I'd love to see a big, big brook come through again. I mean, it just it gets me so hyped just to see those big fish come through. Clean off my live scope there. Yeah, it's awesome to see him come through. I might throw the live scope down, throw it in forward view, just see if there's anything kind of roaming close to here. Here comes a fish. Here comes a fish. Here he comes. I'm seeing him on the live scope right now. I'm watching him on the live scope. Here he comes. He's on it. He's on it. Yep, yep. Got him. Big brookie. I just watched this guy on the live scope eat. I saw him come in on live scope there. 
It's a big fish. It's a big fish. Yeah, this is a nice one. I watched that big mark come in on the live scope there. No! He spit. He spit. I didn't get that hook. All right, that's all right, guys. That's all right. That's gonna, I'm gonna cry in the morning about that, but there's really nothing I can do about that. I should have given him a better hook set. I was loosening my drag there. Rookie mistake, I was loosening the drag and yeah, he got off. I was trying to let him fight it out. All right, that's all right. I'm not gonna be disappointed about that. That was a big fish, probably 20, 20 something inch here, but it's all right, guys. It's all right, it happens. I want these fish to be able to run. I was, uh, I saw that guy come in on live scope too. It was, it was, a, it was, that was a 20 plus inch right there. I don't know if you guys could see him as well. You guys should have been able to see him on the camera. That's just a rookie mistake. I just watched this guy on the live scope. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I'm just trying to look at that clip of uh, me bringing in a fish there. All right, buddy, get up here. I was reviewing my clip of uh, that brook trout to see what I did wrong so I can make sure I don't do it again. And this guy just came out and ate. Man, that's awesome. I'm glad they're wanting to eat right now. That's the biggest thing. They're, they're hungry and they're wanting to eat, which is awesome. It's exactly what I like. So let's go like this. Go like this and boom, get her back, back in there. They just, they don't want me to move it. I tried jigging it. I can't get them to eat when it's jigging. So I just let it sit here and which isn't fun. I hate doing this. I like to jig fish up, but if they're not going to eat when I'm jigging it, what's the point of jigging? <laughs> they're not going to want to eat. They seem a little bit more settled during the day. So I'm going to let it sit there, throw a live scope down for a little bit, see if anything else comes in and wait it out. Hopefully some more bigger brookies come in. All right, let's get drop down here. It took like a five minute break and there's already a fish down here. Watch this. This guy's going to be aggressive. Watch this. Yep. Look at that. He's already on it. Watch this. That didn't take very long at all. Wow, these guys are just so aggressive. As soon as I drop it down, there's a fish. And wow. Here she is, guys. The colors on this guy are amazing. Get her right back in the water. I'm gonna take a quick video of this guy. Gotta keep the Snapchat happy. Wow, yeah, that is, uh, it's just crazy. I mean, how aggressive these fish are is just nuts. I dropped it down within a second. We got eight. Let's drop this guy down here. Let's see if another one wants to come through. I'm going to put it right off the bottom again and just dead stick it like I've been doing. They like it when I just leave it sit like that. It's about, what do we got for time here? Yeah, it's 1.15. Give it maybe an hour. I think there's going to be a lot of brooks in here. I think the, the majority of the brooks start moving back to the shallow water at night. So I'm hoping we can get that transition point from deep to shallow and we can slam some brooks. Guess we'll just have to wait. 22 feet away, we got a fish. 22 feet, let's see if he comes closer. I'm looking for these fish that are gonna come closer. I don't care if they're... We got one coming in. Yep, he just ate, he just ate. Got him. Marked him and got him to eat. Just a tiny little guy here. She's gonna go right back in the water. Little release, I just saw a bigger one down there. There she goes. Just a little guy. There is much bigger down there. But that is another one for the books. I actually, as I released that one, I saw another one down there. That was bigger. Not massive, but even bigger. Bigger is usually better when it comes to fishing. Let's drop her down here. Alrighty, I think this is going to be the end of the video. It's been pretty dead for the last... Oh man, it's been hours. It's probably been two hours since I've seen a fish. We're gonna call it a video. Yeah, I, uh, I got a plane ride in about eight hours, so I gotta hop on a plane soon. But I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, subscribe if you guys are new. Leave a comment down below. If you guys liked it, I'd love to know. If you guys hated it, I'd also love to know. All feedback is good feedback. I probably fish for a little bit longer, but I can barely see down here anymore. It is, uh, it's getting dark, so. As I said before, new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.